Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. Today we're gonna to be installing a Super Duty three line high pressure oil pump line set from CNC Fabrication. One of the most common oil leaks on a 7.3 power stroke is at the high pressure oil lines. And we think that CNC Fabrication has probably got the best high pressure oil line upgrade kit out there on the market. Now they offer these kits for both the OBSs and the Super Duty trucks. You can get them in two line sets or you can get them in three line sets. And that's what we're gonna be installing today. On this Super Duty truck, it's gonna be a CNC Fabrication three line set. Now this gets you both of the upgraded lines uh, from the high pressure oil pump to both the driver's side and passenger side head. But the bonus line is the crossover line or the balance line that goes uh, with this kit. And then th that just you know helps you with uh, high pressure oil recovery, high pressure oil flow to the system. So it's just a, just a nice upgrade. Doesn't take up a whole lot of room inside of the engine valley or anything like that. Um, you know, just a, just a nice upgrade. The CNC fabrication kit also comes with all of the upgraded fittings as well. Now you'll know that with the um, with the Super Duty style trucks, the oil, high pressure oil lines were the Eaton style fittings that had the quick connects on them. We all know uh, how difficult sometimes they can be to get off and on uh, the truck, and we know how problematic they can be for leaking. This goes away from that and gets you into A&N style fittings. So easier installation, just a cleaner look on the truck, uh, and, and, and it's gonna give you leak-free service inside of your 7.3 Power Stroke. So today we're gonna be installing this kit on an early 99 Power Stroke truck. And um, I wanted to make a couple of different points here one about the CNC fabrication kit and the lengths that they go to. CNC fabrication, when they send you your fittings, comes in the, the, the box with your, your lines. They mark each one of the fittings uh, with different numbers. And then the different numbers are gonna to correspond to their, uh, to their uh, uh, excuse me, to their uh, installation location is right there on the package. Uh, so it'll tell you like uh, fitting number one is from front pump port, number two is is uh, rear pump port and so on through the fittings, which that makes it really, really nice. Um, the installation is explained uh, pretty well inside of the instructions that come with the kit. Uh, gives you your torque specs on everything, uh, differences between the, the Super Duty and the OBS kit as well. But one thing that is in this set of instructions that is a major, major installation point on this kit is to make sure that you disconnect the positive cables of the batteries before you do the installation. We field so many calls here at Thoroughbred, customers that order this, they call us, they say, hey, I got a line in my, or I've got a hole in my high pressure lines I got from you guys. These are metal encased high pressure oil lines. And if they touch anything, uh, live battery, they're going to arc, it's going to burn through this and you're going to have a high pressure oil leak. You can't do that. So you have to start out. First thing you've got to do, knock down the battery cables on both batteries. And then I'll even go a, little, a step farther to make sure that there's nothing in the engine valley, the relays or anything of that nature that have any type of charge to them. That is a good, a good thing to mention. You, you'll notice that some trucks, if you just try to take the, the negative battery cables off of it, if you got a short inside of there or something, you might still have a live circuit. Even if I get both battery cables off, I'm still gonna go through and look for a live circuit because if you touch this to the alternator lug or to the relay that's in the valley of the engine, you're gonna get an arc, you're gonna get a hole through a you're going to get a hole through a line and that's not going to be something that covers under warranty so that's the most important part that we can talk about in this video make sure you get the power knocked down to the truck before you begin the installation of these lines so with that being said we're going to go ahead and get started with our installation now i want to say one thing that we did a little bit different uh, with our videos we usually start all the way from the front to the back I went ahead with this truck. I've got my batteries uh, disconnected. I've got my intercooler uh, pipes off the truck to open up the engine bay already. That's something you don't need to watch us do. You've seen us do it in hundreds of videos. You know how to take an intercooler pipe off. You know how to take your air intake off. So we've got all of that opened up on the engine valley. So we're ready to go on that. The only thing that we have to do now is go ahead and take the fuel bowl out. Taking the fuel bowl out is gonna give us access to the high pressure oil pump and it's gonna make for a better video. So Adam's gonna come over and set up the camera. We're gonna go show you taking the fuel bowl out and then we're gonna go forward with our installation. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and begin taking the 
fuel lines off of the um, fuel bowl. Fuel bowl has got to come out to get proper access to the high pressure oil punch pump, which is directly underneath of it there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and we've got a drain pan underneath the truck. We're gonna open up the uh, drain valve on the fuel bowl. That'll let the fuel bowl drain out. Make sure we're hitting our pan here. All right, while the bowl is draining, our uh, inlet into the regulator is a 5 eighths. So when you loosen this up, I like to kind of work it back and forth and that keeps the grommet on the line. I feel like you, if you just loosen it, you're compromising that gr grommet. So I'll loosen a little bit, and take it back forward, just like I'm working on maybe a thread or something like that. So this is 5 eighths here. And then our fuel deliveries are both 9 sixteenths here at the bottom of the, of the fuel bowl. We're gonna go ahead and get everything loosened up and let our bowl drain. Then we'll come back and show you removing the bolts on the front of the fuel bowl. All right, we're gonna show you uh, quickly how to remove the fuel bowl on these trucks. So on the passenger side of the fuel bowl, there are two lines here and they are both 9 16 fittings. These are your fuel supply lines to both heads. Just go ahead and, and uh, and run those off. And then on the top, the first line is super easy to get to here. This is your fuel, uh, this is your fuel return. Uh, your fuel regulator is underneath of here. When you go to remove these lines, what I like to do is work them back and forth and get the uh, rubber grommets broke away before I loosen them up. And then we'll take the, and then underneath of this, and you can't see it on the camera, there's one more line that's a fuel inlet and it is a three quarter. So we will uh, go ahead and, and remove that. And then what we are going to do is we are going to, at that point, we are ready to uh, go ahead and get everything else off. There's a fuel drain on the back here. Uh, we just pull it off. Then you have your fuel heater connection on the bottom. You'll disconnect it. Before you take the fuel bowl out, you want to open the drain valve and let the fuel drain out of it. And then there are two 13 metric bolts on the front of the fuel bowl. They're right here going through the H-pop uh, uh, cover here. So you just have to loosen those up and they will, they will allow the fuel bowl to come out. So I'm going to loosen up that line, the return line, and then we'll show you bringing the fuel bowl out here and then exposing our high pressure oil pump. All right, so we've got everything disconnected from our fuel bowl and we're just bringing it right straight out like so. And uh, this was what I was talking about on the fuel drain. The fuel drain has a line that actually slips over that and then goes right down. And to where you, when you open the fuel drain, there's a, uh, there's a metal tube that allows the fuel to drain straight out on, onto a, into a pan. So got our fuel bowl out and we've got access to our high pressure oil pump now. All right, we have our high pressure oil pump exposed here so you can really see both of your oil lines that you're gonna be looking at. The forward line or the front high pressure oil line runs over to the driver's side head. The rear line runs over to the passenger side head. Now, like we said, all that we have removed here have been the intercooler pipes and the air intake. Um, and honestly, you know, it'll take a little bit more time to do it like this, but it's, it's easy to do this way, you know, you, but you've got to be careful about what you're around with a wrench. Again, make sure, please make sure that you've disconnected your batteries and so on. Uh, but we feel as far as it, from a technician standpoint or even for you all in, in your driveway, this is going to be the least amount of things that you have to pull off for ease of access. If you want to pull off more, please, by all means do. Um, okay, so we're gonna work on the passenger side head first. This is kind of the hardest one to get to. So your main wiring harness is between the high pressure oil line and then your, your plenum right there. And then you've got a valve cover uh, wiring harness right here. So again, this is going to be our rear most line, line closest to the turbo. Three quarter inch wrench, you're gonna bring out the fitting and the line at the same time. So we just lift up on the wiring harness and be very conscious of our valve cover harness right there. If you're not comfortable with doing this, then just go ahead and disconnect that wiring harness at the valve cover, but we're gonna leave it alone because they tend to be old and brittle. So we're gonna go ahead and begin releasing this fitting from the head. 
So, or removing this fitting from the head. These fittings, again, don't have to be removed. If you've got the tool or you know how, you got to know how to do it, you can even pop the lines right off there and then spin the fitting out. But we're gonna do it with the line on it and just pull it out. So we're gonna remove this one. I like to remove the lines at the heads before I remove them at the pump. I feel like uh, when we get the lines off the pump, we wanna not mess around and leave them open. We wanna get to them, get them taken care of as quick as we can. So I wanna go ahead and work on getting this fitting in line out and then we will bring you back when we're doing the driver's side head. We're on our driver's side uh, high pressure oil line now. We're, go we're loosening these up the head. If I didn't tell you on the other side, this is a three quarter inch wrench and you know the fitting will turn inside the line. No need to disconnect the line. If you wanna disconnect the line and then go after the fitting, it's, it's gonna be faster to do it that way. I just, is these, fittings these fitting styles are the kind of the bane of my existence so i don't even fool with them i get the opportunity to take them all out in one assembly that's the way i'm going to do it and you want to make sure that you're conscious of when you have the fitting out of the head uh and you'll know it i mean you you'll you'll know it and you want to bring the fitting away from the head at that point and not continue to uh turn the fitting when it's already disengaged from the head because then you run the risk of uh cross threading it so there's the fitting out of the head. So we've got both of the, the lines at the head disasse or, uh, uh, disassembled. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take them off of the high pressure oil pump now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the fittings and lines at the pump now, three quarter inch again here. And we're going to do the uh, passenger side head first, which is the one closest to the turbo. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it up again we've got it disconnected at the head so we can come right on out with it and we're going to do this uh, do this one first so this one's going to take me a minute to get it uh, disconnected when we get these lines uh, off here we are going to be removing the check valve out of the high pressure oil pump as well so we're going to show you that uh, but we want to try to do this portion of the installation as quick as we can, just being conscious of not getting any dirt down in our Rex Roth pump or high pressure oil pump uh, and hurting anything. So if you're like me, you wanna try to, might be a little bit overkill, but you wanna try to hedge your bet on being safe with it. Cause in my world, if it can go wrong, it's gonna go wrong tenfold for sure. Now we're gonna do our front or driver's side fitting on the pump. Same thing, three quarter inch wrench. Go ahead and continue to loosen it up. We have already uh, we have already removed it from the driver's head, or we've got the fittings out of the head ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it at the pump here now. You gonna get some residual oil, get down the engine valley, that'll drain out. Or if you're worried about it, you can uh, clean it up, you know, in the engine valley before you reinstall everything so we're going to go ahead and get this fitting out of the pump these are very very soft threads so please be careful here make sure you're turning the wrench the right way uh, you don't uh, cross thread anything or anything of that nature so we're going to go ahead and spin this fitting out and go ahead and remove the line from the truck we're going to pull the check valves and springs out of the high pressure oil pump now so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to lay a rag down here in the valley just to make it good for the camera. And we just use a simple little pick and go in both of the front and back orifices. And we pull that spring check valve out just like so. Now let me bring it up here so you can see it if it doesn't roll off the paper towel on me. So here's what the check valve is. Just spring and a piece of metal there. We pull that out. If your pump does not have them in it, if it's already, if somebody's already done the performance modification, it goes, check valve side of it goes down. Uh, They're in both ports. If somebody's already pulled them out, then don't worry about it, but make sure that the little puck comes out as well. Uh, it's part of the spring there. So, yep, we're gonna pull them out of the front as well. for a check valve. There it is. There you go. 
In the interest in getting the fittings in the high pressure oil pump as quickly as we can so we don't have a contaminant get in there, we'll go ahead and take fitting number one. Fitting number one goes to the front uh, high pressure oil pump port. Has an O-ring on the bottom of it. The O-ring side goes into the pump. Please do not cross thread these. Be very careful. Get my hand out of the way. And we'll run them down to the O-ring. These get torqued to 29 foot pounds. And then you have the rear one or the one closest to the turbo will be marked with two. And then what I do is I, I run the stop nut up on that. And then I put the 90 degree fitting in the rearmost port. And your fuel inlet line is going to be in your way just a little bit there. So just move it out of your way. And again, don't um, don't cross thread this. So I take it down to the o ring side, and then I'll I'll run the nut down and snug it down. So 29 foot pounds is a torque on that. I'll leave that loose so that I can get my lines routed uh, correctly. First off, I'll mock my lines up. But the next step for us is get our fittings in at the head. For our passenger side head, we want to go with a 45 degree angle head that is marked number five in your kit. So we're going to go ahead and install it into the head. And it's you're not going to be able to see it really good here because of our wiring harness. So we want to go ahead and install that fitting, being very careful not to cross through it. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to finish with the fitting with the fitting pointed down don't point it up some people want to point them up and they want to route that line with it up that doesn't go that way the line goes out of the 90 degree fitting around in front of the turbo right to that fitting right there so that's that's the way it's going to go and you know what i want to show that hold on just a second we're going to cut right back in we're going to go ahead and put the uh, balance line fitting in on this passenger side head, and I'll show you how that fitting is to be angled. Actually, you know what? We've got a fitting. It goes in the head like that. The O-ring portion goes into the head, and remember, run your nut up away from it so you can tighten that down on, that, on the O-ring very good, and then you just simply tighten the nut down on, onto it. So we're going to put this fitting in for the back port of the balance line, which while we're here, I'll show that to you as well. So the fitting for the high pressure oil pump is just about right underneath of this wiring harness. Maybe Adam does get a shot of it. It's right here at the end of my extension. I hope you can see it. Okay. The balance line goes to this plug right here. So we're gonna remove this plug as well from the head and we're gonna put another uh, fitting that is numbered number five in the head. And it's going to go O-ring side into the head and be angled just like that. So we're going to install that here as well. We're working on the fitting on the driver's head now. So this is fitting number three goes on the super duty driver's side head. And with these fittings, I want to make sure that I talk plenty about it. When you go to install these, the O-ring fitting, the O-ring side of the fitting goes to the head. This is your ceiling side, ceiling side at the head. You want to make sure that this nut is run all the way up so you can make as much engagement of this thread into the head as you can uh, and then you know you finish out that seal with the nut so and then this fitting on the driver's side is 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 a little bit not tricky but this one is where you're really going to make hay so the driver's side line comes around the engine lifting bracket okay so when you run the driver's side 90 degree fitting in, what you want to do is take it to where, I like to take it to where it stops there, okay? And it's actually going to, it'll stop almost uh, parallel with the way the head's running, but we want to back that out to where it's almost coming out just like so. So let me show you with the line what you're, what you're going for there. You're trying to keep the line, the service line, from making contact with the engine lifting bracket, which is going to be right here. So this is our driver's side line, which goes in the high pressure oil pump at the front fitting closest to the cover here. 
So we want this line to make a real gentle sweep and bend around and get to that fitting without making contact with this engine lifting bracket, as you can see right there. So it looks like we've just about got it right there. So we're not ready for lines just yet. So I just wanted to show that. So the 90 degree fitting driver side head has to be angled out to where the line will make contact with it. And then the line will not be rubbing the engine lifting bracket. And then on the driver's side, our, our final fitting that we will be working with is for our crossover line. I keep wanting to call them balance lines because that's what it is in a, on a common rail. But we're going to remove the head plug there. And I didn't say this on the other side for you. You're going to get quite a bit of oil is going to run out of there. So nice to have a rag handy. Let me go ahead and pull this plug out of the head. And I want to make sure that I'm ready here. This is going to get another one of the 45 degree number five fittings that's going to go for our crossover line right here. So we'll pull our plug out just like so. We're going to get some oil coming out of there. And we're going to pull our sleeve off, run the nut up. And then this fitting here is going to end up being positioned. Let me move my rag so you can see. It's going to be positioned just like that. So we're going to tighten that fitting down and get it in line. And each one of the head fittings is going to be torqued down to the uh, to 23 foot pounds. So 23 foot pounds for these at the nut. And that'll get you the seal. And we're going to install this one to turn it to where it's lined up for our crossover line. It'll go right here uh, between our turbo. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that and tighten all of our fittings down and torque them down and come back and we're going to put our lines on. Just talking through uh, tightening down these fittings, uh, you want to use the two wrench method on it, put a 9 16 on the fitting body itself, 5 8 at the bottom, and then tighten it down such as that. I wanted to make sure I said that. Okay, our last two fittings that we have to tighten down are our pump fittings. Remember, the rearmost pump fitting is a 90 degree fitting. We're going to tighten this to 28 foot pounds. And then the front fitting is the straight fitting, and that one as well, 28 foot pounds. So both of these fittings are getting tightened to 28 foot pounds. And then we're going to go back and install our lines. All right, in the three line kit, obviously there's three lines that come with it. Two lines are exact same length. These are your oil delivery lines that go to the heads. And we're going to be working with the shortest line in the kit now. This is your balance line or your crossover line. And it goes at the two rearmost 45 degree fittings that we put in the head. Now, when you sneak, snake this in here, it goes between the plenum and the turbo. And you connect it to the one side, leave it loose so you can manipulate it to get it to our other fitting. This is, this is gonna be installed right here. And then we're gonna to torque these to 21 foot pounds. We're on to our driver's side head line. And when we start this line, we wanna do it on the fitting on the head here first and then take it around to the pump. Now this wiring harness that we're dealing with right here, the main wiring harness is um, the holder for it is missing from this truck. So what we're going to do is once we get everything reattached here, we're going to make sure that we can get that to where it is still um, not going to rub the line. And then we sweep right through here for the line. And this line goes to the front port of the high pressure oil pump. Again, driver's side line goes to the high pressure oil pump. And you'll see when I'm installing these lines, I try to shake them just a little bit. And that just helps me to make sure that we are engaged in the threads correctly. Um, 
if you you know it just it makes sure that you're not having any cross threading going on there so i'll work with that harness to get that back where it needs to be but there's our routing for our driver's side headline again clearing <coughs> this clearing this uh, the engine lift eyelet goes right straight to the front closest to the radiator outlet port of the uh, pump and then we will tighten both of these down to 21 foot pounds all right our last line is our passenger side line and we're going to bring it over to the head fitting and then we'll kind of zoom out and show you what we're, what we're doing there going to connect at the head fitting first and i have gotten myself into a position where i can't do nothing So we've got the line at the head started. Excuse me, folks. I, I got myself into a position there where I was kind of getting anyway, so there's a shot of that. And then we were coming back over here to the pump and we we're going to make our connection at the pump. to make sure again here that you have got the fittings engaged correctly as that you don't cross those fittings. So we're going to go ahead and tighten everything down here feels good looks good and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut back in here and we're just going to show you the layout of the lines obviously before we put everything on and then we'll we'll talk about some final points all right we just wanted to give you guys a good shot of the cnc lines on the truck so as you can see rearmost line of this sweeps around and it comes back and it goes to our passenger side head here you can see the routing you can see that we've got it clear of everything there then you've got your driver's side head makes that long sweeping transition 90 degree fitting in the head straight fitting in the pump uh, right back into the pump right here wiring harness is, is clear of everything there as well so we're in really really good shape what we want and then at the back if you order the three line kit that comes with our crossover line or balance line we like to call it uh, goes between the turbo plenum and the turbo uh, comp housing itself right back over connects the two heads balances out oil flow between the two and yeah super nice kit super high quality uh you know as we've laid it out here is the uh cnc's positioning of the fittings and the lines really really good picture on our website from cnc fab's website of the uh correct routing of the lines and the fittings without the wiring harness in here but we wanted to show you doing this with the wiring harness on what you needed to take off to just make the the job for you more efficient a little bit faster uh, and just you know just a good good quick install because it is it's a very very nice upgrade with these fitting these lines being cut to length the way they are it actually cleans up the engine bay uh you know it doesn't have these so there you see a lot of these these aftermarket lines that come up that are longer and they loop around and all these things and just it it, it clutters up the engine bay more this is clean this is cut to fit um you know it's it's a it's a just a very good installation so you know if you have any questions about 73s or cnc fabrication products or the um, three line kit just give us a call this is one of our most popular selling products and big shout out to cnc fabrication for the kit uh, for us for this truck so yeah uh, thanks for watching